and now a first in the field of reacting to these presentations. I wasn't able to catch this one live! Funny that, but I have a working position, so I couldn't be able to watch that at work and catch the authentic reaction to it. So yeah, it's a post thing. People on Twitter already know what's happening. I'm pretty sure of that. But I had to avoid Twitter for an hour and a half to even get to this point to actually start watching it. Get back from work and all that. It's funny. I don't have much to really say on Tekken, per se. I just know that it is, you know, it's a fighting game. It's got cool moves. There are some things that they showed off in the E3 about Kazuya that looks interesting. I'm more intrigued about his uh, alternate costumes, to be honest, because the only ones on the, on the Smash... Regular Kazuya and the Suda Kazuya. So, it, I, I really want to know what his alternate costumes are, but if he gets two, that's just stupid and funny at the same time. I don't know, man. I don't have much to expect from this. The only really big thing other than Kazuya himself is the Mii costumes, but it's silly to even debate on what they would be, because, you know, people already know about this. <laughs> so let's just find out. 3, 2, 1, and let's go, my friend. Go. Peggy 12. Peggy of 12. Snap. It's a terrible sink. Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're back inside the studio! Yeah! <laughs> it's different from the usual studio. It's... Seen this from a distance. <laughs> Me looking for reasons to find Sora. No. Kazuya Mishima from the Final Game Series Tekken joins the battle. It's already announced, but I'll show his moves again. Just so you know. Let's get real in depth for this. To show you the true power of Kazuya. Tsunami kick, searing edge, flash punch combo, steel pedal drop, flash tornado, Nejiri Uraken, crouch spin kick, twin pistons, sternum smash, jumping sabot, spinning demon to left hook, dragon uppercut, tombstone crusher, gates of hell, wind god fist, crouch jab, roundhouse to triple spin kicks, rising toe kick, statue smash, crouch dash, Left splits kick, stone head, demon god fist, only front kick, double face kick, demon scissors, jump side kick, demon's wrath, leaping side kick, jumping knuckle, air in front, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is more than what they showed last time, isn't they not? <laughs> Otherwise, oh god, 10 hit combo. How does that all play into his moveset? Yeah, it feels like Tekken, alright? <laughs> Please let me explain! For this moment! What is Tekken? It's good. <laughs> it looks real good. It's Hihachi, the power of dark speed. He's funny looking at the models. You control his arms and legs with four buttons to release the first range of attacks. It's kind of like uh, the other game that they put in. You know the one, right? There are Tekken Tag Tournament games and various spin offs. So there are actually more titles than just seven. One day I heard a voice from the heavens. It said, put me in the game. <laughs> Maybe. One of those we translated overseas. <laughs> Masahiro, Masahiro. You must get taken into the game. You must. I get that easy. Think of the licensing! 3D fighting games like Tekken and Virtual Fighter are difficult to implement. To Smash Bros. <laughs> Look at that diving front dually. <laughs> also Paul, by the way. His genre game design differ entirely. I'm not talking about the arguments of whether Smash is a fighting game or not. Oh shit, my friend. I believe Tekken is fundamentally different. Because Smash Bros. is fundamentally different as the, well, the realm of game. <laughs> Understanding spacing between characters and where to hit. High, middle, and low attacks. Force you to be more aware of your surroundings. Smash is a game of location. Take that, Byleth. Stab. <laughs> oh god, look at him walk! 
Pit default fighters from each game against one another. You'd find this match over as fighters fast as move. Launch five times faster than their Tekken counterpart. We could just do that. Or we could not, and just pick someone else. Fleet only from the outside. The true essence of Tekken. That's the other thing too, it's like... The character itself can be brought in. The moveset also makes them unique. But sometimes the, the moveset itself can be the defining factor of why you like the character or not. Because I have never played Fire Emblem, yet I like playing as Martha a lot. I have not played past Gen 4 Pokemon, I like playing it in Cinderor. So, yeah, that's it's something else. As the name implies, that's the draw out the power of the devil. The devil gene. Jin Kazuma. Aihachi does not have this genes. Main reason. <laughs> we wanted it to be interesting. Cool. Yeah, Aihachi just looks old, my friend. <laughs> Add to favorites. Right bumper. PC footage shown. We made as normal attacks as similar as possible to those in Tekken. This is the part where we throw you off a cliff. Devil powered, mid-air jump, smash, text, and special moves. I remember seeing a meme on Twitter where it's like, you can't be a fighting game character in Smash without having the same down air. <laughs> Karma. Ah, actually, that's another thing too. I haven't thought about the music. Like, no way. <laughs> I've not thought about it in the I'll be using a special development character version, camera version, camera camera, game balance might also differ from the final version. It may, but it may not at the same time. Devil Blast, okay! It's a fighter game character with a beam attack. You mean like everyone else? That sounded stupid as soon as I finished the sentence. I apologize. <laughs> Ooh, it does multiple attacks. It pisses enemies technically. Holy shit, that's damage. So this stage, by the way, I like it. Ah, yeah, so it's depreciating. So Polycephalus here is right. <laughs> Hint, watch it. Hint. <laughs> oh my god. It is very situational. What the hell? Okay. I, I, I guess fair. You can angle it slightly. Oh, <laughs> That's some good targeting there. Is that just normally, or can you just still input the down direction? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, answer that question very easily. Jump and fire the blast. There's Steve. Watch out, Daisy. You're going to get punched by Devil Kazuya. Get close to your opponents. Like, I'm pretty sure... I don't know what his 10 hit combos could be. I want to say it's the down B, but at the same time, there must be like a specific input you put for that 10 hit combo. Because there's no way you have to do every single part of that combo at the same time. There he goes. Is that a dynamic breakthrough wall? They're playing fetch! Devil Fist. Oh, I see. So the special attacks are going to be his devil form. Okay. So most of the rest of his attacks come from the A button, so the regular attack button. Interesting. So what you next is important. So it's basically a shine, in a sense, with some kind of other aspects to it, I can't think, right now. Damn, son. Damn, G, look at all that cheddar. <laughs> You can't pass your shield opponents. It's like the other, you know, shine. Stuff like that. Only a short distance. But, um, very slightly, though. Devil wings, yeah, see, that's what I thought. Ascend pretty high into the sky. It's a non attacking up smash. Up, up special. Look at that jump. You could ascend pretty high. Make it useful for upward recovery. Yeah, indeed. And there's more end lag, so you stay up in the air very slightly longer. You float in the air for a slight bit. But those are funny wings. Oh, so it does do attacks. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's like the um, it's like the elytra from Minecraft Steve. Attack on the end of the side special up special. Huh? You won't fall after using it. 
You can't use the side special or the up special again. So it's free fall without free fall, okay. Ah. Oh shit. Never mind, I like that down B a little bit more. Super arm. That one, that's probably gonna be a fun move to just do. Oh, bows aside, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> if the opponent has good recovery, don't bother. <laughs> Depending on their input, the opponent being thrown can push back against Kazuya. This one looks like when there's no input. But if you put in an input, it looks a bit like this! Ah, how much push is determined by your accumulated damage? Yikes. Push back probably and you won't be KO'd if you have a low damage attack. Hey, Sakurai's just gonna teach you how to. DI oh man, imagine if it was the case that depending on how far you fall, you get more damage sustained. That would be something else. Easier to rack up chaos in battles with multiple opponents. It might be easier, it might not be at the same time. Rage feature. Hmm. So, like, um, why am I wrong? If... Once for stock mode called Rage, very angry state. Couldn't think of what it was, it was fucking Sephiroth's one winged form, that's what I'm thinking of. Also, I like the uh, series I got, by the way. Alone gives you an advantage. If you meet a specific condition, a powerful once per stock for a called Rage Drive. Just the ones. Heaven's door, but more powerful. Three ways to execute. Grab. Ah, interesting. Step two, down special and use Heaven's door. To use it once. Travel farther than normal. Or, sure, you can command holding down the attack button for the longest range. Dragon uppercut. Ah, uh, okay. Either the attack button or the special move button, but holding the button down is what's important. <laughs> it will immediately end after using Rage Dive, so use it in the right moment. More than the cinematic damage, huh, okay. So you can keep it if you're good. It grabs, miss, your legs are the rage state fast. Don't miss, my friend. Final blaster! Holy. Take that, Kirby. Quite a few people grieve. This will be your burial ground. Nihongo this. It might sound cool, but it's actually just kind of like. <laughs> Pikachu, you're going to get buried here, my friend. Also, that's the uh, the final destination version of the Omega form of the stage. That looks quite nice, actually. I it's, I don't know which of those versions are ones of which one I like more. Keeps the opponent pretty far away. Hmm. Yawning. Oh gosh, why am I yawning? I shouldn't be yawning. It's a presentation special. <laughs> Before I introduce his normal attacks, he wields a gun. Overall. Kyoto, Japan. Wow! They put Japan in the game! He's great at making comebacks. His attack power is extremely high. Even when he's losing in terms of landing attacks, he can quickly turn things around and win the battle. Is that broken? He's at a disadvantage of reaching attack range because he's a fighting game character and they don't have range. <laughs> Not as slow as the original games. Might have difficulty against opponents with long reach and more frequent attacks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, if they come at you from the air! He's on the heavier side! Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting way to show it, of course. Is that a lower jump than Steve? <laughs> I think that's a lower jump than Steve. As if Ryu and Terry automatically turned to face his opponents in one on one battles. But only during that. In putting backwards attacks, it's also reminiscent of fighting games. Continuous super armor. 
Huh. That's gonna have a huge impact. It might be able to curb something like a flurry attack. What in the fuck? No. Okay. A lot of merit that a super armor is so strong against part of an attack. It will still take damage, but it might also be able to interrupt an opponent's attack. If it wasn't part of its original games, he has hardly any hit stun. Hmm. Hit stun is a slight freezing effect after being hit. I've explained everything, more or less. So let's talk about his normal moves. Do the 10 hit combo, dumbass. <laughs> He's got to do the finger pointing thing. If we be able to iron out the wrinkles later as needed. We could, but that's not. We tested him out, he was surprisingly weak. Any intervals between them. He took quite a beating. We increased his speed and power. Wow. Well, let's find out how deep this goes. We're a gamer. That's what happens when he falls. Nice. <laughs> May his control seem different from the other fighters. We're actually not going to talk about his attack stat. Mm-hmm. That's enough drinking for now. Even compared to other fighters, he has an outstanding number of normal moves. This is true of the original series as well. There's no need to use all of his moves, though. Just learn the ones that you like. Yeah, then go from there. As usual, just the one. Is that really his jab? The 10 hit combo? Okay. Fine. <laughs> that makes it incredibly easy to do. <laughs> Lisa combo depending on your opponent's movements, for instance. I'm just gonna hit you with that last hit. Okay, thanks. Shields won't work against the final hit in the combo. If you leave a slight gap between the second neutral attack, then attack again, the flash punch combo. Yeah. Ba bum bum bum. <laughs> Leaping sidekick. That, I mean, just visually, that looks like a really, really underwhelming dash attack. But I'm sure it has its utility. Oh, a double tap. Left spitzkick. It's more of a special characteristic. Ah, like uh, Min Min's up attacks, up tilts. Thank you for telling us again, Sakurai. Gently tilt to avoid using smash attacks. Yeah, gently tilt whilst in the middle of your goddamn battle. Airborne or advancing opponents. Twin piston! And then slap it in the air for a combo. <laughs> there goes the Cinerol. Um... Huh. It... Really specifically that direction. Huh, okay. That's strange. I mean, they've already... Uh, <laughs> Sakurai's already just said that he's got a lot of moves in comparison to most other fighters. I am excited to see, like, how many pages he gets on the goddamn, uh, character card tutorial stuff. Because it's gonna have to explain all of this. It just is crazy. Already. Just from the offset. There's gotta be some back attacks in there, right? Use them at the same... <laughs> Tilt diagonally forwards and down and press the attack button to use Tsunami Kick. <laughs> kick hero in the face. Stop an attack from the first hit, your opponent gets launched into the air. This is very technical. This is for all those fighting game fans in the chat. You know, those fighting game fans that are watching this Smash Brothers presentation. Eh, uh, you know. Nera... Najiri Yuraken. Oh shit. That is... something. That might be good for, you know, setting up combos, of course. Yeah, look at that. That is gonna be silly. See, that's what I'm thinking. Statue smash. <laughs> that Yoshi face! He's so short! Ah! Why am I breaking my voice? Flash tornado! It happens quickly. It's relatively strong for counter attack. Yeah, it's like a fucking knee, dude. The, the Kazuya knee. 
Take him in the face. Yeah. Kick. 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 <laughs> Jump. Side kick. Yeah. <laughs> I can already tell you up front right now that even though I'm still doing the classic mode video for Kazuya, he is not gonna be a main because Christ. It I mean it will have to actually depend on how I find him in terms of fighting. But at the same time, I haven't really picked up and played a lot of Terry Ryu or Ken. So I don't think Kazi is going to be on my main rotation. I'll still play as him, because I like playing randoms anyway. And I still need to do a bunch of things with him anyway, because like, all that shit, but... Boss crouching! Do that! <laughs> it's a very good crouching pose, you know. Crouch jab. You know, like the down tilt that we all know and love. <laughs> it does look a little funny when done repeatedly like that. Keep them in check. Crouch, spin, kick. <laughs> I, I, I suppose, just from looking at this, he doesn't have a crawl. But, you know, he's got that... Um, crouch shit. This is Smash Rovers. The effect perhaps isn't as high as the original games. He's got this. Oh, okay, no. It's not what I was thinking of. Crouched an A while standing up. One of a kind, alright. The kanji is slightly different. A move that causes your opponents to heavy flinch. Used for all sorts of combos. The side smash. Hit! Hit! That looks... I mean, that's kind of one of those double oomph powers. That looks great. Yes, like his special attacks. Glorious Demon Godfist. I was just looking at the shadow for some reason, I don't know why. Pichu! No! Jesus! It leaves a wide gap for opponents to attack you. If you're too close, you won't land a clean hit. Ah, so it's a sweet spot. Oh, well. Really make that fist connect. A clean hit will trigger an effect like that. It will. Super Armor 2! I mean, with my math sensibilities, I will get used to the side smash and getting those tempers out. The side smash is the strongest Super Armor. It sure does, look at that. Devil Twister! Yeah, uh, that's like three years as well, so... Not quite as useful in my eyes. But, I'm not a main for Ryu or Ken. So... Really, it's up to the player to get good with the character. Every character is good in their own way, it just depends on who's playing the character. You can't just say someone is immediately trash. Because there's got to be someone who knows how to play the character and can probably kick your ass. Lion Slayer. <laughs> wow. That's fun. Depends on your opponent and the battle conditions, but I think you can combine it with other moves. Wait a minute, it's Namco! How dare he beat up Namco like that? Oh shit. It's like Bayonetta's. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's good to use it after this happens. It's also great at damaging shields. Oh no! <laughs> That's gotta be crazy! Five directions up, down, left, right, and neutral. I like the neutral one. Power for the rest. Jump knuckle! It's a neutral attack, not the down air. Interesting. So it's not the same down A, it's just the neutral A. Okay. Searing Edge, just the kick. As you would expect from a fighting game character, he does a kick. Wow. Easily alternate between this and non-air attacks. While these combos are looking pretty cool, however, it is just an opponent that is not moving. So, <laughs> might be difficult to use one-on-one -on -one battles. If you want to hit an opponent in front of you, dash forward, turn around, then use it. Rising toe kick. 
Um, that reminds me of someone. Someone has an up smash or up air like that. I can't think of what it is in the moment. And I doubt I'm going to remember it by the time I do the editing. Because I want to get this out quickly as possible, so... I apologize for not editing anything in. If I have a move, it can be quickly controlled in midair. Demon scissors. He's at the fainting. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's kind of fun. In some respect. It's crazy. Korang! Grabbing and throwing. The camera will zoom in during a throw and fighting one on one. Sternum smash. I'm just gonna punch you real hard. I like the, 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 the particle effects that comes off when doing that. That's good. Wow. Wow. Air Inferno. Wow. That's also familiar. That's kind of like um, Falco's Up Smash. Maybe also um, Mewtwo's Forward Throw as well. That kind of reminds me of that as well. Stonehead. Conk. It's good for combos. I just want to headbutt a robot sometimes, you know, man? That's the thing I want to do. Gates of Hell. Ah. Down, forward, down, and down, forward again. And then grab the button. Forward twice when crouching. The damage is high, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Kazuya, you can't do that to Wizabell. The internet will be mad. Familiar to fans of the original games, but we'll be plucking tulips! We form a special technique by entering the Shoryuken command. Quickly enter forward, down, down, forward, like that. And now you get this move. Your wave dash. So are you gonna say the word Sakurai, or is it just gonna be left up to interpretation? <laughs> Huh. I mean, you can kind of t uh, chain them together because you're doing the sure you can command anyway. But you go right, then down, then down right. So you can just keep going into the right and then do it over and over and over again. So it's gonna wear out your stick in that area. Press the last down and they simultaneously for the electric godwind fist. That's something. Let you aim for different combos in regular wing covers. Huh. Moreover, in the original game, the input window had a single frame. A little more forgiving, we do it three frames. <laughs> oh, the button longer, and you can do dragon, 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 uppercut, dragon. Pyra, no! <laughs> Easier to win with the mood than it looks. I guess kazi has been beating up every single person for the fighter pass. It would have been funny if Sakurai just kind of suddenly put in the, the, the fighter just during this presentation. Like, he's just beating up fucking someone else. That'd be silly. Kick! Punch! He used a little differently. Also, the slow down moves. Starts from up high, whereas this one starts from down low. Spinning demon to a left hook. It might not work for juggles. Okay. That's an interesting move. A special trick. The Big Crusher Sword, no. What? He's got a fucking... <laughs> He's got an attack taunt! When's the last time we saw one of those? <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Sakurai, for including that. It's the most powerful. Naturally, right? <laughs> Even though you can include it in combos, think about it off using other techniques because you'll be st that's all styling. And you can't do that online anyway. And emphasis on combos. It's just common. Common enough. Excuse me for a moment. I had to scratch an ear. So yeah. It's also very due to damage rates and a fire away! Fight away! There are many combos that will always connect. But some may will. Better to develop easier combos. Just like a fighting game. Exactly this!
Apologies. I'm still watching, don't worry. But these guys are being assholes. Big assholes. New stage, Mishima Jojo. Can you not? Bellas! Went on for a while because the special moves are on the new stage now. It's, it's good, the wall is already damaged, but we can damage it a little bit more by the power of punching Mishima Dojo. Jesus! <laughs> Actually, Hayachi's Dojo, not Kazuya's. A lot has happened here. Law, my friend, law. The walls in the ceilings have closed off all directions. KOs are impossible right now, of course, but they can crunch. Won't it be repaired after a while, though? You're relatively safe while everything is intact. Once things are broken, it becomes dangerous to rain. Water seeding damage also proportional to the opponent's launch speed and weight. Huh. It won't stop their launch. Huh. I like how you can open it up. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. The screen boundaries are close to the dojo's exterior and it won't scroll to follow anyone. <laughs> Crowded battles. Kick. Imagine that though. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, is it gonna stay broken for the rest of the fight? But nah. You'll see Heihachi in the center. Not all the time, but he'll be there. He's got a tiger on his back. Back, tiger, back, back. There aren't any floating platforms, because this is Tekken. Hope you enjoy coming up with new Tekken. <laughs> Different than I was using King of Fighters Stadium. Omega and Battlefield also be available. I like how the statue is so pissed. A bit of a spoiler, but there's a little inscription here! People familiar with Tekken games will know what this means. <laughs> now to try out Kazuya by punching everyone. <laughs> little Mac! The five fighters who were thrown into the lava. Unfortunate souls. Go ahead, pay your price. Kazuya Mishima, Devil Kazuya. First, I need to break a wall, and now it is time to. <laughs> he got in the way! I don't want to damage the CPU that much, but. Oh well! <laughs> That stock icon is weird. Just look at that. I, I, you wouldn't expect it to be like triangular. But I guess that's his hairstyle. That's just strange. Oh, it's because he's got his thing on. It's time for Demon's Wrath. How is that? So yeah. From the onset, looking at this and looking at how Kazuya is playing. He's definitely an interesting addition. I appreciate that he's there. He was not my ideal pick for this game, but if you remember the fact that there's only so many spots that can go around, and you can't freeze everyone, I shouldn't be disappointed that Kazuya's in the game. Kazuya is a good addition, he's still another character to play as. If you really expect to see, like, your most see character in the game, then you're going to just end up being more disappointed than you will be if you aren't expecting anything. Ah, oh, damn it! I messed the fuck up. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> no, 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 do overs, do overs! <laughs> Here we are, back again. Do overs! <laughs> the science saw it didn't land, oh well. So yeah, even though if I wanted Phoenix Rider or Press Lane in the game, I can only have one now. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay? Fine. I'm still gonna <laughs> spite my own words. I'm gonna say these words and enunciate it very slowly so you can understand, right? That thing's broken still. Sora is never getting in to the game. Okay? He ain't! <laughs> There's zero chance of him getting in. And even if he does get in, his moveset would be incredibly limited. Hell, could he even use the Keyblade? That's got a Mickey Mouse head on it. You, my attacks are reaching. It's probably invisible for a bit. I'm gonna look back in editing at all this dialogue that I'm missing from ranting and raving. I kicked you back, Beam. And I'm just gonna be like, oh, that was funny. That was also kind of funny, I'm using even. Maybe not too funny, but it's funny enough to see anyway. Ouch! Things aren't looking good! 
So yeah, like I said before, I like the, um, the, the series icon for Tekken. It's a very nice picture of a fist. I'm still interested to see what his other costumes are like. I swear if he only has the two, that'd be stupid, but if not, then... Mm -hmm. Devil 2 Easter! The final smash is about ready, Sakurai. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, you can punch him. Angel and the Devil, what a good place. <laughs> well, there you go. Who needed to... <laughs> Ooh! Whoa, shit! You really got him there! Mars up next, he's going to be trouble. Like you, I also have tippers. But also like you, I have terrible AI. <laughs> it's actually not much for the time for the bean to hit. Ah, no good. I see no bueno. Not bad, right? Not bad. Look at that picture. Their attempt at revenge failed. Level 7? That's the <laughs> CPU level I usually fight at, anyway. One of these kind of moves, but I wasn't able to show them off. But you can try them out for yourself very soon. Now we're going to talk about music, and we're also going to talk about release dates, and then we're also going to talk about me costumes. That's also going to be the thing. If it's in that order, I swear to fuck. There are a lot of games in the Tekken series of hundreds of songs across the franchise. So we pitched, like, 70 songs to them? Okay, half that! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the Yodeling's in the game! Shit me! If that is the actual Yodeling song I'm thinking of, then that's crazy. There's no victory fanfare where you win. In fact, it's a first in Smash Bros. history! What happens then? Well, this, if I can actually watch it. But hearing the dogs bark in place. Yeah, they got the announcer. It's something! The announcer from Tekken retailed Kazuya's name. It's based off the one from Tekken 7. There's another one from 5 and 6. And there's the other one. Unfortunate. There is no throwing volcanoes in this version. Oh. Jesus! By the way, oh look, look at them! Odd oh, numbers of flame warrior in the key of the pants. Shut up, dogs! P7 colors bring Jin Kazuma back. Oh, oh man, I like that gold one. <laughs> Six dollars, like sixteen or two. And Pierre's golden spangled decoration from the original game, pulling the dog and shutting the door. I apologize. That's Kirby. Look at this—he's got monarch. He's got head of Kirby now. <laughs> Devil Kirby. Yeah, man. It's like two copy abilities in one. Oh yeah, true, the spirit board. I almost forgot about that. Kuma and Panda! Yes! Ten spirits. Oh, Devil Jin. Nice idea. Very nice, look at him. Additional mid-air jump. I actually quick enough and not purchased. Uh, yeah, that was a thing too. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't say this during the E3 Direct. But I th that was a point where I thought, like, hey, if we're gonna do Mii Fighter costumes, just add in the Mii Fighter outfit for Haihachi, but I almost forgot they already added that in. Paid DLC Mii Fighter costumes, wave number... something or other. I'm gonna say eight. No, nine. <laughs> Ten. Dumbass. Fine. Oh, hey, it's Lloyd! All of the downloadable Mii costumes from Smash 4 have returned. All that's left is new stuff. There you go. So what's next, Tekken? What in the hell? That's another Todd now. Okay. X Dragonborn. You can't fool me. That's Skyrim. Also, this is the UK broadcast. Why could could not get the the rights for Skyrim? My dude. <laughs> that's gonna make some people mad. Dointe from Devil May Cry, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Just so you know. It's important that you know that it's from the Devil May Cry series. But hey. Yo, it's Shante too! That is a really good costume. Oh, I like this music. Yeah, it's got the music too, that's great. Just gonna vibe to this. Monkey! <laughs> 
There's your four. Okay. Those are good choices. I like them. Especially the Shantae. That's cool. Warrior gets f <laughs> Warrior literally just shit on Skyrim just then. Okay. <laughs> Answers that question. A very well-rounded choice of costumes as well. Releasing alongside Kazuya. Hmm, why haven't they showed their date? I gotta show that date momentarily, because they're gonna talk about Kazuya's release date. One of these characters is standalone fighters! But we could do that! You may be surprised to see them playable in this game. Also, we're gonna play the Dragonborn theme. <laughs> They're also called Dovahkiin, but that's also a spoiler, so fuck you. <laughs> Better to stick with one name. In the dragon language of the original games. One song to the other category. It is Shantae music. Burning Town. From Half Genie Hero. Yeah. It's a, it's a vibe, that song. I like it. The all important release date. June 30th, so two days from now. Cool. Okay. Nice. Very nice. I've already got videos going up. As, oh, right. True. I almost forgot about the Amiibo news. So, yeah, already got some videos going up, but the next thing will probably be them. How fragile. Fragile. Are you going to show him? It's going to be real. Are you going to show him? Come on, Sakurai. Don't disappoint. Okay, now. We'll be the lot. We should have let Bandai Namco handle that shit. Purchase on the date shown. Just 2022. We don't have much else yet. We created all sorts of fighters and stages. Including... <laughs> Gathering all the games you roll. Finding them to a single product is a task that has meant a lot to me. There was just one left. It's been close to 10 years. As... Yeah, wow. That is weird to think. You could call it my life's work. Next DLC fighter will be the last one. There won't be any more after that. It'll be a while before the announcement, but it'll be available this year as planned, so please be patient. A couple months from now, alright? The team will have to complete this project at home right up until the end. Until then, we hope you enjoy playing with Kazuya Mishima. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sakurai. Who knows what it could be? Footage from Kiesel and Farmer. Alright, so that was... Thanks for watching Kazuya Mishima. That was a video that we watched. So, okay. Me fighters are cool. I like that. Some cool music there, my friend. And also, Kazuya looks very stupid in terms of how fleshed out the character really is. So I'm interested in, you know, trying him out. I'm not going to completely commit to playing as him all the time, but I'm going to try him out. Because that's the important thing to do. And yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you very much for watching this presentation again. I know it is delayed very slightly, and it's also very strange, since it is the one that was not... It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a post kind of... So it's, it's, it's something else. I don't, I don't know. So I'll see you in whatever you watch next. In two days from now, I'll probably end up recording Kazuya's classic mode and do some more things. Who knows? I've got some other things I'm planning. I don't even know what I'm doing, really. So I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoy playing with Kazuya in the future. Whoever... I don't know. Probably. I, I had no ends in a sentence. I don't know why I kept going. See ya! <laughs>